The hardest part is allowing yourself to go through the motions, allowing myself to feel the feelings of both my successes and failures, to stop beating myself over mistakes, to continue showing up knowing that I'm not perfect, to live a disciplined life implemented by myself, to not be intimidated by my future self, accepting that it takes time, slowly changing all the little things today so that I can be infinitely better tomorrow. You truly have to believe it to even see it. The real life manifestations come afterwards. I'm just now seeing results from work I put in weeks ago. The work will never become easier. You'd have a better time changing your mindset over the actual work you put in. It's a choice. And you have to choose over and over again to keep going. Anticipate the pressure you're asking the universe to give you. Be brave enough to take on the responsibility of showing up. Sometimes, I just have to sit there and think, what would the version of me that I'm working so hard to be do? How much stress would she be able to manage? Would she even spare the energy it takes to let this be a bigger issue than what it is? A couple days ago, I was being petty about vacuuming crumbs off the floor. Yes, crumbs. I remember I was so busy that day. I was having technical issues trying to edit a video and I kept sticking my foot on the carpet in the living room. And at first, I chose to be petty because I didn't make the mess and I'm not cleaning up behind anybody. I had stuff to do and I was already frustrated because it was taking me way longer than I'd like to edit. And I kept sticking my foot with whatever crumbs was on the ground. I felt myself getting angrier and angrier each time I stuck my foot. And it wasn't just in one area. It was in three. One in the walkway before the kitchen, one in the walkway before the couch, and one in front of the walkway of my bedroom. I went as far as putting on shoes so that I wouldn't have to feel the crumbs that I kept having to walk over. Trying to make my situation as comfortable as possible so that I can focus on fixing my issue with my video. I kid you not, it took too much energy to be this passive aggressively petty that I just broke down and vacuumed the crumbs. It was costing me too much energy and anger than it would cost me to just go ahead and vacuum it up. I was already hour four or five struggling with my editing and I didn't have the reserve energy to let this situation continue. I took the eight or so minutes to get out the vacuum, vacuum each area that was pissing me off, put away the vacuum just so I could take my shoes off so that I could more comfortably edit again. I didn't realize in the moment how much I was letting the situation stress me out. It wasn't until I recounted this with my mom to which she responded, let that be your content. Not only highlighting how minor the situation was, but also acknowledging my part into making it that way. If I wasn't so committed to my passion of filmmaking, I would have never prioritized it as such. And I can't help but to think how many other situations that I let get to me like this. How much time and energy have I wasted? I don't think I've ever respected my time or energy as much as I do now. It wasn't until I wanted to focus that time and energy into the things that I wanted to do rather than the things that didn't deserve it. I found myself having to be increasingly selfish with it to a point to where I sometimes feel conflicted for doing so. Slowly seeing these sacrifices really reinstates the value of my end goal. I value my progression of progress more than the temporary obstacle of inconvenience. The future version of me knows this already, but it took today's version to actually understand it. Thanks for watching.